Hello, in this lecture we are going to learn larger integer multiplication. Larger multiplication multiplication is a concept which we are going to see under divide and conquer. Under divide and conquer method. This is a approach which we use to solve the larger integers. Let's consider the values 1, 0, 4, 2. There is one number and 3, 4, 2. There is another number. 1, 0, 4, 2 and 3, 4, 2. We'll try to understand. Step 1. In step 1, I will say that arrange a number with equal numbers. That equal length 1, 0, 4, 2 and 3, 4, 2. This is A. This is B. This will be C, this will be D part. Now A and C, B and D, both should be in equal length. So this is not equal length, so I will do a padding. So that I will add 0, therefore to that part. Now to understand this, we have to use one multiplication that step number 1, A, B, C, D, which we have found. In step number 2, I have to find out 10 square A plus B and 10 square C plus D. These two values I have to find out in a particular sequence. After that, I have to do a multiplication 10 square A plus B into 10 square C plus D. When I will do the multiplication, 10 to the power 4 a into c plus 10 square a into d plus 10 square b into c plus b into d. If I make a common with 10 square, I will receive a d plus b c plus b d. After that, this will be the equation number 1. In divide and conquer, I will get equation number 1, put all values of A, B, C, D and you will get a answer. So let's consider that will be the answer number 1. That will be answer number 1. After that, in step number 2, we have done this. In step number 3, what we have used to do? That whatever multiplicants we have used here, AC, AD, BC and BD. We have to replace these 4 multiplicant into the 3 multiplicant. That will be the divide and conquer method. So we will have less multiplicants. So consider AC equal to X and BD equal to y. That means AC will be replaced with x and BD equal to y. And also we have to replace the AD plus BC we have to replace with z minus x minus y. These are the three multiplicant which we have to use in the equation number one. So we know directly we have AC value which is replaced with x, bd which is replaced with y and ad plus bc will be replaced with z minus x minus y. But right now we don't have that value so that will be a plus b into c plus d and I will do the multiplication that ac plus ad plus bc plus bd. Just do the cross multiplications. After that, AC plus AD plus BC plus BD. Now what I am looking? I am looking AD plus BC. So keep AD plus BC on the right side. Make AC and BD to the left side. Z minus AC minus BD equal to AD plus BC. When I will do AD plus BC, I want to replace here. 
and as you know that AC will be replaced with X, BD will be replaced with Y. So Z minus X minus Y equal to AD plus BC. Now this will be equation number 2, equation number 2 and I will write here put value of AD plus BC in equation number 1 value of ad plus bc equation number one we will re rewrite here 10 to the power 4 ac plus 10 square ad plus bc plus bd will be replaced here ac with x plus 10 square ad plus bc will be replaced with z minus x minus y plus bd will be replaced with y this is equation number 3. Now find the value of equation number 3 and I will get answer which is second answer. Answer equal to the second answer. When I will compare both the answers, so my answer must be at a final. Answer 1 must be equal to answer 2. If the equation number 1 will give me one answer, then I will put the AC value, B value, A square, A value, D value, B value, C value which I have and XY value I will define AC multiplication of A and C is nothing but X, multiplication of BD is nothing but Y and AD plus BC I don't have directly so I have taken a formula Z equal to a plus B into C plus D and I will do the cross multiplication then I will take to the left side minus AC minus BD so AC will be replaced with X BD will be replaced with Y after that I will get one equation put that equation in equation number 1 so I will get a generalized formula that 10 to the power 4X plus 10 square Z minus X minus Y plus Y so this will be equation number 3 when I will put the values of x that means multiplication of ac y bd and z minus x minus y is nothing but the ad plus bc which I will have here. So I will find out these values and I will get a answer number 2. When I will equate both the answers I will get my final answer. So whenever I will get both are equal then I will say whatever method with a normal multiplication of AC, B, A, D, B, C, B, D there are four multiplicants four multiplications and when I use divide and conquer method I have that AC is one multiplicant after that AC will be replaced with X and Z minus X minus Y this is nothing but this part B, D is nothing but Y so I have 4 multiplicant or 4 multiplication in normal method and in divide and conquer method I have 3 multiplication. So divide and conquer is efficient using for the larger multiplication to find out that. Just put the values and you will get answer 1 and answer 2. And what is A value? 10 will be A, 42 will be B, 0, 3 will be C, 42 will be D. Just we have to remember the padding concept to equalize the length of both the numbers. Equalize the length of both the numbers then do the multiplication and find that. This is all about larger multiplications how to use a divide and conquer symbol. Thank you for the listening.